Penrinkunit. Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Um, it has certainly been a while, but hello again. <laughs> um, consistency, you say? <laughs> um, but no. It, school got really, really hectic. Um, and then I went home for a week. And now I'm back. School is starting again. And hopefully I am starting to make consistent videos again. It shouldn't be that hard. I just have to remember to do it and actually do it. Um, but yeah, let's start with Pan Those Eyeshadows update. I don't even remember when I did the last update. Like, I can't tell you, but it's it's a lot more than a month. Uh, does that mean I have great progress? Well, no. I haven't been really great at like doing my makeup here. Um, sometimes I just I'm not in the mood to do it. I would rather sleep in. Uh, other times, I don't know. I have to do it more because I really enjoy the process. I also enjoy like making myself feel pretty. Not that I don't feel pretty without makeup. I've not been wearing makeup for like almost weeks at a time. So I wouldn't do something as like dramatic as this. This isn't that dramatic, but it's not school appropriate for me. But okay, let's start talking about like the actual makeup. Um still, I have exciting news. We got a pan. Look. Like and a big one. I did not think I could hit pan on this eyeshadow that fast. Like, I didn't use it that often. I hit pan on it like a week or something after I filmed the last video. Maybe two weeks. But, like, it is pretty powdery, but I tried to use as much as I could. But also, I did like some more dramatic, dramatic, really colorful eyes with this and stayed home, <laughs> so I don't know, I, I thought it was pretty, uh, but like, what? Not mad about it though, I'm actually really happy that I hit pan on a, like, a really bright shade because I didn't think that I was going to be able to do it. But that is sadly the only pan on the shadows that I have, like, in the project. So I'm just going to show you the progress on the other ones. And um, this one I have had in this for a while. And that is this shade over here. I think I'm going to have to move a little bit closer so you can see. Um, it has a really, really decent dip. It's this one. So. Yeah. Um, so next time, maybe, or the time after that. Like, if I'm good about using it. Th this is a shade I could use, though, every day. So, if I start... Going to bed a bit earlier and waking up a bit earlier, there will be good progress. But I have uh, the next shadow in uh, the Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. Yeah, this one was from Yes Please, and this was like a single shadow from Colourpop. It's called wait for it. I'm not really great at remembering to tell you what everything is, but excuse that. 
Uh, it's this one here. It's called Shooting Star. Yeah, Shooting Star. Um, and you can see there is a dip. There wasn't a dip before. And like... I haven't used it that often. It's really, really, really powdery. Um, so, like, it's so quick to just... Um, I'm trying to, like, use it and tap as lightly as I can, but... With a shadow as powdery as this one, it, it will go faster, so... That is good for the progress, or, well, for, for the project and the progress of the shadow, but not good if you really want your eyeshadows to last. But this one also, like, I can use it every day, um, and it could have pad next time, maybe, or the time after that, just like the other shadow, if I'm good at using it. Otherwise, maybe I won't hit a pen before Christmas or before the end of the year. Like, time flies so fast. Like, it's almost the end of October. What? Um, and the shades that I have in here are a ball and chain. This one right over here. Like, you can barely see anything. Uh, I use it once, I think. I don't like it that much. So, it's not a priority. Uh, hopefully, I will learn to like it, though. I also have this one. It's called Such a Tease. And I don't know if you can actually see it. But there is the tiniest dip. Like... I don't know. It's like literally the tiniest. So maybe it's not a lot, but still I have been using it. I've been using it like in the outer corner and like it has a lot of glitter and like glitter fallout when I do that, but it's a way that I can use it without using it on my eyes and I feel like because I have fairly light skin that sometimes dark like lit colors like this kind of just wash me out. It's too dramatic. But I have a bonus pen. I don't think I have shared it in any other video, but I had pan on Take the Cake. Look. Look, look, look. And a pretty big pan, so really happy about that. And so let's look at. Sorry, I'm like in my bed. Um, open the Excel sheet. Okay, so last time we had twenty nine eyeshadows with pan and that was a 34.12% pan and now is it wait yeah I just said pan on two shadows I thought it was more but now I have 31 eyeshadows with pan and that make it make it that makes it a 36.12% Zero five percent. So maybe I just like calculated, and if I hit thirty five, I sh uh, if I have thirty five eyeshadows with pan, I get forty percent pan percentage. Like, can we do that? Four more pans before the end of the year. I really hope so. I think I'm going to set that as a goal, like end of year goal, 40% pan. Maybe it's too much because I haven't been that good with my projects lately, but let's put a goal and maybe I will try and reach it. 
But let's get the fun. Uh, I am going to find random.com. Uh, is random.org. Excuse me. Wow, if I have it on the iPad, it's so big. And I have from 1 to 86, I believe. Okay, so I don't know why there is like a blue thing there, but is it in focus? Oh, yeah. Okay, 75. That is in the Natural Lust palette. I have a lot of pen in that one, so maybe I already have pen on that one. Okay, 75. Yeah, that's the shade Love Language. It's actually a really pretty shade. It's this one here. Uh, but I have pen in it, so we're going to randomize again. Like this. And whoop, 70. Uh, um, okay, that is. does not have a pen. It's still in the natural list, and it is the shade Flirty Pop. It's this one right over here. So it does have. A bit of a dip. I have used it a little bit. It is a pretty color. Um, so yeah, I'm really not mad at that. Let's swatch the colors all together and I'm going to see what the color palette looks like. Like, there's an earthquake. Like my hand. Ow. I was too late to turn it, but. Like. I'm going to. When I finish filming, see why that was? Like where it came from. I've never experienced an earthquake here since living here. So that was interesting. I don't have anything. Ah well, if there was a really really bad earthquake maybe some things would fall down but really not. So it's all good. And um, yeah I'm still just swatching uh, the colors so I just decided to turn on the camera because everything started shaking but look it's fine oh that was an ugly swatch uh, yeah but this is the color palette you can like not see it that well Okay, it's so long since I went through everything. Okay, I'm going to have the names like down here so I can tell you them. But, okay, this one is from the Colourpop palette, Yes Please, called Champs. This is the shade that we just picked called Flirty Pop. It's from Too Faced. This one is also from Too Faced and is called Such a Tease. This is called Ball and Chain and is also from Too Faced and this is from the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette and is called A Shooting Star or Shooting Star. Just Shooting Star, not the A. And it's not that bad of a color palette. It's pretty fall-like I guess. But I don't know. It's still a bit dramatic, some of the colors for school. So, we 
will see how we do. The goal is still 40%. Let's just hope we can hit that and I will hopefully see you with an update in a month. Um, so I just realized I forgot an outro. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't need, know if you could see the earthquake, but hopefully you did. It, it was something. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, uh, I would recommend subscribing. And hopefully they will be coming more frequently. But I really hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bless bless! Another one. This one was a short one. And not as powerful.